Okay. Okay, so today's the day. I finally I got some things that I'm gonna put on my wall. As you can see, the walls are very blank. Very, very blank right now. Okay, so the things that I got for the walls, right? Firstly, right, I thrifted these two, like, paintings or whatever, right here. It's like a matching set. So I got these. They were like $5 each. Yeah, these were literally 5 bucks. So I got these. I think they look really, really nice. And if you go over here, I can't believe it's under here, bro. It's literally in the closet on my floor under the dresser thing. We got the play button right here. Oh, where do I put this? Put it right here. We got the play button right there. Extremely dusty. Oh, hell no. Oh. We got the play button right there. If you guys don't know, I'm a pretty big fan of Junji Ito stuff. So my sister got me this like coloring book with some of his panels. It was at Walmart crazy enough. So I didn't want to mess them up by coloring them in. But now this would be a perfect opportunity. So I'm probably going to get like an X-Acto knife, cut out the pages or some of the panels that I like and then put them in my doorway. I think I'm gonna do that. And, okay, the last thing that I'm gonna be putting on the walls, I um, went online and printed out some album covers that I like. But they're not actual vinyls, of course, because those are like 40 bucks each. But I printed out six album covers. I wanted to get a variety of music that I like, and I printed them out. And I got them 12 by 12, so they're pretty big. How am I gonna straighten them out, though? I'll put them under my laptop. I'm gonna keep them face down for now. It's a surprise. Put them right there. I'm also gonna put the Xbox on. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do some other things while those are flattening out, even though I'm most excited for those. I'm just gonna start with like the first one so I don't mess up any good ones. Then I'll use the scissors to trim off the excess. It's not perfectly straight, but like, it's not really noticeable either. This is like coloring page paper, so it's a bit thicker than normal paper, which is good. Where I want to put them, I want to just put them like down here, all around my door. I want to put them, that's what I want to do. So I don't know how many I need for that. I'm probably going to do like 20, maybe, and then see like how far I can get with that. Okay, hopefully the fan isn't too well, but I got 17 things right here. I think this is how big the albums are gonna be. But anyways, I got 17 panels that I want to put up. Cut these out real quick. Oh, they're double-sided actually, so I gotta figure out which side I like more, but it's whatever. I just got um, painter's tape because that was the only one that I could find. I'm probably gonna put two or three on the top and then we'll work, we'll work our way down. But I know that I want these two right here. They look really washed out when they're not in focus, but it's better in real life, there we go. And where's the one of the dad? Where's the one of the dad? I want that one, that one's fucked. There we go, this one right here, there we go. Okay, so these three are the ones that I'm gonna put up on top. Okay, so we got the first three up. They look really good. They look really good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put some across here or down here and then on this side as well. And then the doorway will be complete. But that already looks way better. Uh, that, it looks good to finally have something on the wall. Okay, so this is the finished product. This is what it's looking like. We got them all right there and Then they go all the way down and then they spin all the way back up. This looks really nice, bro It turned out pretty much exactly how I expected it to very good execution. I'm proud of it. It looks cool Oh shit, look you can actually see something like there's something in the back of the video now. That's crazy People might tell me like oh bro, that's gonna peel the paint off the wall. It's painters tape So I don't think it will but if it does I don't really care to just repaint it. I don't know how long that took, but I think it's enough time for the posters to be somewhat flattened, right? Uh, so let's see. Oh, uh, not really, but I think it's good enough. Damn, these are big. These are a good size, bro. I was looking forward to getting these shipped for a minute. So there is stuff that I can do before, but I want to do this because I'm really excited. Also, these are the frames right here. I ordered them from Amazon. They're just 12 by 12 backloaded frames. I got six of them for $40, I think, which is a steal. 
what they're looking like. Okay, this is the first one right here. I can't wait until they're all framed like this. That's gonna be so nice. Uh, I'll put this one to the side right now. Okay, which one should I... I'll frame this one first because it's like at the top of the uh, stack or whatever. I've used backloading uh, frames before, so I kind of remember how to do it. Okay, yeah. Oh, these are glass. Damn. The other ones I had were plastic. These... Very cool. That's the first one down, and we got five more to go. Finally, bro. Jeez, we're gonna have some stuff on the wall. It looks really faded when it's out of focus, but they look good. The prints actually did come out really well. Yo, they look so good, bro. Yo, they look so good. Jeez. And the thing is, since they're gonna be on this wall and not this one where the light comes in, there's not gonna be any glare on them like that. So they'll look good like all the time pretty much. But damn, okay. I'll link the um site where I got them printed uh, down below. I'll link everything below. I'll remember to do that. I'll link everything that I have uh, that I can because obviously I thrifted those paintings so I can't really do that. I'll link the play button too actually if you wanna buy it. Okay, let me take this shit down bro. Okay, I kind of have to get this right the first try because I don't get any second do-overs, so I don't know how high I want them though, bro. That looks way too high. Uh, whatever, we're going to roll with it. I don't really have any other options, so we're just going to have to make it work. So this is what it's looking like right now. Uh, I think it looks pretty good, but I ran out of command strips already. I need way more, bro. What the? F I'm gonna have to go to the store in this hot ass weather and get more. Ain't nobody drip like me. It is a lot later. Um, I had to wait a long time to go to Walmart to get more of the strips or whatever to put them up. It's like eight now, so I'm about to go to the gym. But when I get back, best believe we're gonna finish setting everything up. But yeah, now we'll be good. Now we got more than enough to uh, put everything else up that I want to put up right here uh, i still got to do something for that low key the two paintings will look really good right here but i want to fill in this corner i want to work on one like corner at a time actually if i had to use nails to put up the albums then that'd be one thing but like bro it's literally just command strips like i'm gonna i'm gonna knock this out real quick please uh be symmetrical somewhat yeah it looks good it looks really good oh that looks kind of nice that looks pretty good what do you think chat what are we thinking? I like it. I think it looks cool. So you got the wall right there and you got the albums. Okay, so now it's time to put up the play button and the paintings or the paintings. And then I think we'll be done. What time is it? It's already late. So I don't want to be super late to the gym. But let's see what I can get done in this time. I don't know how well it's going to stick to this material because it's like a velvet type thing, but we'll see. I've been pretty good at eyeballing it. So we're going to just keep doing that. And I think right here is good. And it's uh, tilted. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks nice. It's a bit high, but I think that looks good. I can always, you know, adjust it later. Okay, bro. Let's see. Um, oh, I'll do this to make sure it's the same distance. So it's right about here. Oh, it's tilted. You can't really tell though. I'm gonna fix it though. Do I have a leveler? Oh, that one's good. Okay. If they fall by the time I get back from the gym, better it happens then than on my head. Now we're gonna use this again to get the distance right. Got it right first try, cause I'm that good. That's what it looks like. Uh, I'm gonna go to the gym, which will be like two hours. When I get back, I'm gonna clean and uh, get some final shots so we can see like the finished product. I'll see you guys whenever we're doing that. Okay. Oh, what the f I don't have my hair tie. I don't know where it went. So you're just gonna have to like, you know, deal with whatever that is. But so it's a couple days later. I didn't get around to filming like the outro or whatever. Yo, it was good. Now, this is the final product. Like the final product of the things that I did in this video. So first, right here, you know, you walk in and then you got some nice panels, some nice from Uzumaki in particular. Uh, nothing else really. It's just from that one manga, but they look really, really good. I really like how they turned out all the way down to the floor and it looks great. And and then over here, we have these two paintings that I thrifted with 
the play button in the middle right there make it very reflective and shiny and nice these were a steal these paintings were a steal they definitely add a lot i could have put them um on either side of the tv but i'll just end up doing something else with that spot i guess because this video was all about these two walls or whatever so that looks really good right above here i think it looks nice and then right here my favorite part of the room at the moment or maybe like <laughs> I don't know. My favorite decor of the room for sure. I don't know. That's, we got the albums right here. We got Beatopia. We got Graduation, Max and Match, Details, Whole Water Red, and Modal Soul right there. All framed, looking very nice. The glare isn't really a factor. Like, obviously, it reflects, but it's not like you can't see them. You can see them all clearly. It looks fine. Either way, they came out looking really nice. I feel like the saturation could be a bit more, or they could be a bit more vibrant, I feel like. I think that's the only thing, but other than that, they look great. And let me turn off this right here uh, so you can see like this is what it looks like with the lights off pretty much or like you know just a little uh, yeah can i get a wide shot with everything in it kind of this looks really good i really like the wall right there that looks really nice now what i need to get is a light for my desk so that i can actually sit here and film and have decent lighting and then i can have all that in the background and it looks better uh let me know how you guys ended up liking everything i did with the room uh, i'm not done decorating obviously this was literally just two walls down and then i have like two more to go i think it turned out really really good has a lot of character shows like things i'm interested in i want to add a lot more things though to be honest i feel like my room could have a lot more character this is this is good for this video i feel like for this video we got a lot done updated it made it look real nice or whatever but yeah let me know what you think i could do better what you want to see me do to it in the future because I do read all the comments so I'll be like you know taking that into account for now I think that's gonna be it hopefully you enjoyed the video uh look at this new bracelet I got came in the mail like in between filming I think it looks really cool but I'll see you guys in the next video